All right. So today, I'm doing a review. It is the first Ubik Adidas release. Pretty impressed. I do like the uh, design. The materials aren't the best, you know, boost you wear, so it's got boost right here. One thing about these is the fit is super tight when you put them on because of the sock booty right here. So it comes in super tight, especially first time. So you're gonna have to use two hands. The upper is like a mesh material right here. The front has like a plastic, but it's got this like transparent green uh, outsole, which is nice until it gets faded. Not sure if you can see it. There's a little boost you wear, dude. When I put them on, they were pretty comfortable. They're mismatched, so one shoe has red accents, one has blue. So right here on the consortium tag, you can see the blue, and on the insole, blue. The stock uh, lace locks are black, one red, one blue. There's no extra laces. We don't get much with the consortium releases. So the whole story behind this is there were two sister cities after World War II in 1947 in South Korea, but they were sister cities for Philadelphia and Georgetown. Kind of a lame story in like the World War II post rah rah world. Quality's pretty good, like I said. Comfortable if you like boost your wear. Uh, if it's like the 1.0s that I have. Usually I'm like a 10 in Adidas and a 10 and a half in Nike. I also do a 10 in New Balance. So the 10 in Adidas, 10 in New Balance, and uh, 10 and a half in Nike slash Jordan. They just happen to run narrow, and my foot runs like a little bit wide, but not technically wide. So they'll probably be 80 bucks soon. And nothing is hyped from Consortium pretty much. So uh, it's kind of like Nike SB was four years ago. I'll probably come back around, um, which is too bad because a lot of the stuff that comes out from Adidas is a lot better than the Nike stuff. If you want to wait, they'll probably be down to 80 bucks in a month or two. Uh, yeah. So BYW, boost your wear. Consortium Ubik release.